everybody, Flynn here from Flynn Explores. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up easy, uh, simple movements in Unity. So, as you can see here, all I've got is a cube with a camera and a light. When I press play, nothing happens. That simple. We want this cube to move. So, right click, create C sharp script. I'm going to call it move. Movement? Yeah, movement. This is a really simple way, there's a lot better ways of doing this, but this is just for complete beginners who want to get some basic movement into their game. So here is our script, and first we're going to create a variable. So public float, I don't know, move speed, yeah. And basically that's going to be how fast we're moving, we can change this variable to change at what speed we move at when we press buttons. Then in updates, which is called every single frame, so that just repeats itself basically, we're going to type if input dot get key 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 code and we'll go W key code W. We then go to the end, press enter, press backspace, create two curly brackets like that. So basically every single update every frame is going to check if we are holding down key key w and what do we want it to do we want it to move so to move we're going to use transform dot translate so if you type transform dot translate and then a vector three dot up times time dot delta if I can type properly you know delta time times our move speed so what's going to happen here is every time we press W it's going to transform move basically us vector three dot up so it's going to move us up times by time dot delta time that's basically just time and then we go into times the time by our movement speed to change how fast we are moving. So actually now if we go back, minimise this while saving, go back into Unity, we can click on IQ, we can drag our movement script onto it. I recommend setting the movement speed to 1, I'm just going to set it to 1, I don't know how fast it's going to move. So it's set to 1 and when I press W it moves up, when I hold W it moves up. And we can make this move down and left and right really, really easily. Copy this, paste, 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 change this one to S, change that to down, change this one to A, change this to le left if I can spell change this to uh, D and we'll change that to right so also if we press W it goes up if we press S down A left D right and that will always be um, affected the same by our movement speed so one won't be like moving faster than the other because it's all to the same movement speed variable so now if we press play don't need to do anything in here we can move. When I press D, right, A, left, S, down, W, up. And we can press both at once to go horizontally. So you should be able to understand how this works. Let's say I wanted to stop this cube moving up. I could just delete that and then it won't be able to move up. You can use this in a variety of different ways. There is better ways of doing this. For example, let me just bring this up on the screen. There's this Bracky's tutorial right here where he uses input dot get axis raw. That is a better way of doing things, but I'm just showing it showing it you for complete beginners and how to just get some movement working so you can experiment with other things. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and I'll see you all later. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe, please.